Hey everyone, this is Stephanie from Fast Track to Health Wellness Center. I'm a licensed acupuncturist and functional medicine practitioner. So today I'm going to answer a question that was presented in our Facebook group called Fast Track to Weight Loss. Anyway, uh, so one of our members asked, how do you handle uh, keto and fasting during holidays and special events? Okay, not such a simple answer because it really depends on what it is you're already doing. So if you're already fasting on a regular basis, this is actually a really good opportunity for you to do one of two things. Either you continue fasting during the event or you can just go ahead and eat while you're at the event and then fast afterwards. So it really depends on you know, what, what's your choice. You know, what, what are you doing lately? Um, if you're only eating one meal a day, uh, and the event is in the evening, which most of them are, then that's an opportunity for you to just, you know, skip your breakfast and lunch and just eat when you're at the event. And then for the keto part, you're gonna just search out the foods that you can have and stay away from the ones that you're not having, unless you've been doing this for a while and you have integrated some carbs back into your diet. And then maybe you could be a little bit, you know, less strict and maybe eat a little bit more, you know, flexibly in that situation but like i said it really depends on where you're at um i guess probably for most people it's the, the difficulty is being around other people who are eating and i think that's probably what she what she meant by that so um but i think it really depends on where you are in your journey so if you feel like you really do need to eat at the event then maybe you should and then you can always fast the next day or the next couple of days I mean, it depends if you've been doing it for a while, you're not gonna completely throw yourself off by having a meal that's not what you're used to. So in other words, if you've been doing consistent keto and intermittent fasting, or even prolonged fasting, and you're working towards your goals and you're losing weight, you probably have already become fat adapted, meaning that your body is gonna be more efficient now at burning fat, and you will go between glucose and fat burning automatically. So that's, it's a good adaptation to have. So you can have hits here and there when you're not eating perfectly and still be okay. So I know that was sort of an answer that was sort of all over the place, but uh, you know, it really depends. Um, if you, you know, want to fast during the event, that's a good opportunity. If you feel like you do better if you're eating because everyone else is eating, then just do your fasting after the fact. And if you are able to find keto foods, low carb foods at the event, you could sort of definitely stick with what you're doing. And if you have been really good lately and really strict and you feel like you need a bad day, then just go for it. There's always a way to fix it. That's the great part about doing this. This is a lifestyle. So there's always gonna be a way to, you know, get back on track if you fall off track. All right, so that's what's so great about it. All right, great, quest, great question and I hope that this helped. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up if you like this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye!